Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this video, we are going to take a look at multivariable statistical data. MATLAB uses column oriented analysis for multivariable statistical data. Each column is a data set that represents a variable and each row is an observation. The i, jth element is the ith observation of the jth variable. As an example, consider a data set with three variables, heart rate, weight and hours of exercise per week. The data highlighted in yellow represents the heart rate, the data highlighted in orange represents the weight in pounds and the data highlighted in blue represents the hour of exercise put in each week. Each row represents a patient. So if it is row 1, then the information relates to patient 1 if it is row 2 then information relates to patient 2 and so on. So as you can see our array D is basically a combination of three variables that is heart rate, weight and hours having five observations. Now moving on. So for this set of data we have to find the mean and standard deviation. Finding the mean and standard deviation is as simple as calling the function and passing the argument. The MATLAB will automatically take care of all the other things. So to find mean for all the three parameters that is the heart rate, the weight and the hours of exercise, I just call the function mean and pass our array d to it. It automatically computes mean for all the three parameters. Similarly to find the standard deviation for each of the three parameters we pass the array d to the function standard deviation as std d and for all the three parameters we get a calculated standard deviation. There are so many examples for this that are available on the net. So for purpose of practice one can easily do a google and get the exercises. This is one of the simplest thing in MATLAB so I will not be going into much detail of this. This concludes our video. So in the next video, we are going to take a look at data analysis. Data analysis have four basic things that is pre-processing of data, summarizing the data, visualizing the data and modeling the data. So in the next video, one by one, we are going to take a look at all these four characteristics. So till then, please subscribe and thanks for watching.